Okay, so we're going to paint this painting with only four colors. So we've got black, phthalo blue, dioxin purple, and white. Um, now I just have this, have the paint on some wax paper and it just makes cleanup a little easier. And this is actually just canvas, it's just a canvas pad. Um, I got it at Michael's. And then my brushes that we're probably going to use is just a, a, a big flat wash brush. Um, a number one round and we might use this fan brush for some clouds in the background I'm not sure but let's just get started okay so first of all I'm gonna take this brush our wash brush and I'm gonna dip it in some water and I'm gonna grab some of the blue so I'll grab some of the blue, and we're just going to start putting this for the sky up here on the top. Now as I do this, I do want to grab a little bit of white and I'm going to add this to the sky also, just in places. the bottom here I want it a little choppy at the bottom I don't want it in a straight line and I'm gonna grab a little bit of the dioxin purple and I'm gonna start adding this in I'm not gonna clean the brush while I do that because I want to blend this in to the blue Take that purple all the way to the bottom. I'm just going to blend it back up to the top. Okay. Now that we have our background <clears throat> set in, we're going to rinse the brush. I'm going to set it aside and I'm going to pick up this fan brush. Um, I don't even know what size it is. It's been used so much it's been marked off. It's been <laughs> marked off. Um, but any fan brush will do. What we're going to do is just we're going to add the clouds now. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab some of the white. So grab some of the white from my on my brush, front and back, and we are just gonna put in some clouds here. And because the paint is still wet, it's gonna pick up some of that blue underneath, and that's okay. okay I'm gonna grab some more white, and I'm gonna add another one over here. I'm just scrubbing these in. No particular shape or anything. Okay. I'm gonna make a few more down here because our cat is kind of like hanging out in the sky. 
I guess. <laughs> and I'm going to bring another one down here. Fill that one all the way in. Okay. And actually grab a little more white and I'm gonna make just some light wispy ones around here. Nothing special, just like I said, just little strokes. Come back to this one, add some more white to it. Okay, I'm gonna rinse this brush off now. Okay, and I'm gonna set this one aside. And I'm gonna pick up the smaller brush. Um, this one's a number four, it's by Artist Loft. Oh, it's kind of, number four by Artist Loft, it's kind of, I guess I didn't take off all the paint, <laughs> but that's okay. We wanted a little bit rough because we're just gonna kind of blend these clouds out into the background. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna rinse this brush out. I'm actually gonna leave this one in the water a little bit. Maybe it won't be so stiff. And the next step is to add in our moon. Okay, so we're gonna add in the moon. The moon's kind of going to be here on this side. It's going to be a really big moon. Um, so I think I'm okay to put it in. So I'm going to start putting it in. Okay, again, I'm going to grab some of the white paint with our large flat brush. And I'm going to go ahead and put my moon in about right here. I'm going to start it. Gonna be a pretty big moon. I want it to be huge. Okay. And I do want that the blue from the underneath of the painting to show through. Okay. You can get carried away, or I can get carried away, and then we'll have the whole page as <laughs> just the moon. Okay, I'm gonna have to put more here. Oops. Sorry about that. Okay. Okay, that's good enough. So I'm gonna rinse my brush out. And I'm gonna 
put that aside and I'm gonna grab my my round brush, my one inch round. And <clears throat> we're gonna start putting um, the stars in the sky. So with that, I'm gonna go ahead and wet the brush. Make sure it's at a point. Okay, and I'm gonna grab some white paint. And I'm just gonna dot these in. There's so many ways to put in stars. You can grab a toothbrush and put stars in like that, or you can dab them in. Or you can also use a paintbrush and flick the paintbrush back as well. I like, for this painting, this is the way I want it done. So I am going to do it this way. And I can get stars small, big. Okay, I think that's good. So now I'm going to rinse the brush. And we are going to um, wait for this to dry because the next step is to put in our little kitty right here. And, <clears throat> well actually, we can go ahead and, and put the little spider in. We can totally do that, let's do that. So, for the spider, he's super easy and super cute. Um, I'm gonna use this brush, the round, <clears throat> and I'm gonna grab some black on the tip of this brush. So black on the tip of the brush. And we're gonna decide where we want our spider. And I think I want him, I, oh, I gotta watch out right here because it's a little bit wet still, but that's okay. So I think I'm gonna put the spider right here. So I'm gonna sketch his body. I want him nice and fat. Just gonna paint him in. And then his little head is next. All right. This cloud is a little wet, but that's okay. And then we are going to put in his little legs. So he's got eight legs, of course, like a spider. So one, two, three. Oh. Want to make sure your brush is pointy so you can add the legs. Four. Four on this side. here and I'm gonna put one here <clears throat> I don't want to move the paper but I feel like I need to move it all right so we are going to add him legs oh need some paint Oh, that's a funny leg. That's okay. <laughs> Another one. That's two 
two legs. Oh. oh no, look what I did. I can't touch this now, I'll be right back. I'm gonna go clean the brush. Okay, now that I got the brush clean, we'll go back and grab some more black paint. Okay, and add his last two legs. Can't really mess this up. He looks like a spider no matter how you do it. Oh, what a cutie. So I'm going to rinse the brush and I'm going to, it looks like this is dry, he is too. So I'm going to put in some eyes, I don't, his eyeballs, using the same brush, I'm going to grab some white. I'm going to add his eyeballs right here I'm going to make him have big eyeballs. Oh, he's looking more spider-like. Okay, and I'm gonna kind of highlight his his booty here. He's got a big booty, and I'm gonna highlight this. Cool. And if you think you have too much highlights, just grab some black. Don't even wash your brush out of the white. Just I grab some black. Come back in. It'll help those strokes blend a little better. Okay, cool. Okay, now I'm gonna rinse the brush. Okay, and I'm going to add his eyes in. <laughs> he looks scared. Well, well, there you go. We got a spider. Okay, so I still have black on my brush. We're gonna, we're gonna, um, I mean, he's hanging from somewhere, right? I don't know where he's hanging from. But let's put a little line coming down from the, from the top. And my camera up here is at a weird angle and I've always hit it so I hope I can do this right without hitting the camera so it doesn't shake for you guys. Okay, and then to have a, a nice line. Okay, not bad, there you go. Okay, cool, cool, so we got him hanging. We got him hanging from somewhere. Okay, so now I think this is pretty dry just for a little spot like right there. That's okay. We can go ahead and um, start putting in our kitty. All right, so for the cat, we're gonna go ahead and um, use the same brush. So we're gonna use the same round brush. And we're gonna put him in. And I'm gonna put him in right here. Start right here, he's gonna be a big kitty. 
Okay. That's how we're starting him. Get a half crescent shape, okay. Maybe it goes down a little more. Bring him in. Bring him in like this. Okay, I hope you can see on the camera what I'm doing. I know I'm using white, but he's gonna be a white kitty. Okay, I'll bring his neck in. bring him out a little bit and then once we got him out this far we're gonna go straight down maybe not straight down we're gonna curve it and then go down Then we're gonna add his little legs in the back. There's gonna be two little bumps here. All right, how cute is that? Okay, so now that we got that basic shape in, we're just gonna fill it up with some white paint. Make any adjustments you think you need to make. And then fill him, fill it in, him or her. Okay, so once I'm, I'm here at this point, um, <clears throat> I want the paint's still wet. I still got the white on my brush. I'm gonna grab a little bit of black, just a teeny tiny bit of black because black can take over the whole, um, everything, takes over everything, every, 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 everything. So right here, and I kind of mixed it in a little bit, so I'm going to go ahead and start putting in like his chest area. Grab some more black, just a tiny bit. This is where he... All right, right there, just like that. Okay. And I'm gonna kind of get this side too. So it kind of implies that we have two front legs right here, okay? Awesome, okay, now that we've got that in, I wanna go ahead and keep the black on the brush a little bit more and kind of do that here to the side of his head. Okay, there we go, and then what we want to do is kind of do that to the other side too. We're keeping the white on the brush, we're kind of get grabbing some black, kind of making like a gray color. Alright, 
so <clears throat> Also, put in some shadows for this little kitty. The gray. Since the moon is more on this side, I'm gonna make this side a little bit more shadowy. Okay, now that I'm done with that, if your brush looks like this and it barely has any black on it that looks a little gray that's fine just go ahead and dip into your white paint fill up your brush and then go ahead and start filling in the legs for the kitty okay all right now for this part we're also we're gonna do the same thing we're going to the same thing with the black, make a gray color. I'm going to redefine this out, I kind of lost it. Alright. And I'm going to kind of make some strokes here. I think I want these more, more black, so I'm going to grab some more black. more black and define this a little bit more. Okay, now so for the other side, we want to keep it a little lighter. I don't want to go as dark. On that side. Okay, I'm gonna take some, lighten some of this out. Cool, I like it, looks good. All right, so the next thing is we need to make this kitty some ears. So I rinse the brush a little bit, not too much. And I'm gonna grab some more white paint using the same brush. And we're gonna add some pointy ears to this guy. All right, so I think I'll have an ear right here. Let's see how his ears come out. Another ear over here. Have a oh, second time I hit it. I'm getting new. I'm getting a new um, tripod to hold my camera. It'll be hopefully it'll be a little higher, <laughs> and I can film a little better, and it won't be hitting. I could be a little bit more free, and I won't be hitting the camera with my paintbrushes drives me nuts oh he's got some pointy ears all right one's pointy and long the other one's a little pointy and fat all right nobody's perfect right <laughs> okay Cool. All right, so leave whatever white you have on your brush, and again, do the same thing. Grab some black, and we are going to start from the top, and we are going to light 
lightly stroke this in. This side, I'm gonna bring this all the way down. Okay. I'm gonna grab some black and do the same thing on this side. So there's, there's that step. Um, okay, so with the black, I'm gonna grab some more black. Roll my brush, make it pointy. And I'm gonna come in here and redefine this line again since I took it away. I took it away. Not be tolerated any longer but then I realized I needed it so I got to put it back okay all right so there there we go um, kind of want to define his neck here so I just grabbed some black and we're just gonna go outline the side of his neck and under his little whisker thingies here. All right, and we can leave this side um, unlined, I guess you could say. I'm keeping the same brush. I just rinsed it off. I'm grabbing some black. And we're going to add his cute little eyes. Actually, let's make his nose and his little smile first because we want him to be proportioned. If I make his eyes first, he may not be proportioned. So let's start with the cute little triangle for a nose. It's a little wet because I'm going to grab some more black and I want to have my brush as pointy as possible because we're going to put in a little smile for this guy. Mm, I don't think that's that pointy. I need it to be pointy. All right, well, that's good enough. Let's see what we do. Okay, he's smiling at least. Oh, I love it. All right, let's keep going. All right, all right, let's keep going. We're gonna add some eyes now. Let's get this, let's get his eyeballs in. Give him some big eyes. All right, so we are starting with, um, 
Well, what color should I have his eyes? What color do you think? Oh, well, I only have a few colors out here. Let's make them blue. Let's start with blue. So let's rinse your brush. Grab some blue paint. And we are going to, so I'm gonna make some light blue eyes because they might not show up. Let's do light blue eyes. So I'm gonna grab my phthalo blue and some white. And I'm gonna make them, um, make it as light as I can. Well, maybe not as light as I can, but I'm gonna make light, light, light ones. All right, so that's the color I came up with. And let's put in his eyeballs. I usually start off small. And then you could grow them, you know, instead of making them huge right away. It's just easier to fix, I think. There's one eyeball. Okay, one eyeball. Let's go for another eyeball. One eyeball here and one eyeball, I'm guessing, would go hopefully right here. And he'll look okay. <laughs> we'll see. Oh no! too close but that's okay see we can always fix it we are going to fix that eyeball he's too close to the nose you see this one's far away always a struggle to make eyeballs symmetrical for me. All right, so I'm gonna rinse my brush off the blue. And I'm gonna grab some white, whatever I have left of the clean white, and I'm gonna come back here and use it as an eraser to fix my mistake. Okay, that's better. Okay, that's good enough. Okay, so after I've done that, rinsed my brush and I'm gonna grab some black paint. gonna put in his pupil and they're like diamonds or marquees Are they? I don't know, I can't remember. I haven't had a cat in so long. It looks a little scared. Um, but that's okay. <laughs> okay, so with that same paint, same black, we're gonna outline his eyes now. Okay, his or hers. I might add some eyelashes to this one, so it's definitely going to be a girl if I put eyelashes. So let's put on some eyeliner for this kitty. Oh, 
she's cute. And should I attempt eyelashes? Should I attempt eyelashes? That is a very good question. Uh, let me think about that. And while I'm thinking, let's go ahead and add her tail. So we're still using black, we're still using the same brush. Roll your brush into a point. Okay, and we are going to put this kitty in nice tail. So I'm gonna start from like right here. And I don't know if my paint, make sure your paint is wet enough. If it's not, add some water to your paint so that it's wet enough it can glide easily on your canvas. If it's too dry, too thick, it's not going to flow off the brush and onto the canvas um, easy. And it can be frustrating. All right, so I think I got some flowy paint going on here. And I'm gonna start from right here. Ooh, I hope I don't hit the, this thing. I need my thing to come in right away. All right, so we start from right here and make a little twirl. Okay, that came out all right. And I'm just gonna go in, fix whatever did not show up. Okay. Making our tail a little pushy at the end. Want her to have a fat tail at the end. Oops, too much paint, too much paint. Sorry, I don't know if you could see that. So now that I've done that, I'm going to grab a little bit of white. Um, I'm going to rinse my brush first and then I'll grab some white. Even if it has gray on it, that's okay as long as it's mostly white. And I'm going to add a little bit of highlight to the side here of this little tail. Maybe like fur, that way it looks like it's brushed on. Or like it's hair not. I think, I think we are, I think we're done. I think that looks good. Unless, should I put her lashes? She deserves lashes, I know she does. <laughs> I 
should I be the one to put her lashes? Um, nope, I'm gonna leave it just like that. This is our Halloween kitty. I know it's late, it's not Halloween anymore, but hey, there you go. It's still winter or fall, and I think it looks great. <clears throat> Um, okay, that's it for today guys. Thanks for watching. If you made it all the way this far, thank you so, 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 so much. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye. You know what? One thing I did forget to put in there that I really wanted to put in there with for her eyes was little sparkles. She's got to have some sparkly eyes. You can't have just some dead eyes looking at you. Come on. Oh, put her sparkle there, and a sparkle there. Now, there you go, we brought her to life. Okay, now I'll see you next time on the next video. Thanks guys, bye.